Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going through all of the books that I have not read on my bookshelf. I have more books unread than I thought I did. I went through and I counted all the books that I haven't read on my shelf. Now, like I said, I thought I had a lot less than this. Granted, some people have like over a hundred books on their shelves that they haven't read, so I feel like mine is a little bit more manageable, but I have 30. 30 books that are unread on my bookshelves. These are including books that I have started because I haven't finished them. A lot of these are going to be series because I am just notorious about starting a series, reading the first book, getting halfway through the second book, and then stopping in the middle of the series. Hey, do you want to come join? Kevin's going to come join. This will be fun because there's actually books on my TBR bookshelf that he's read that I have not read. Okay, so Kevin has joined us and he is going to be holding the books. Something fell. <laughs> it's a book, don't worry about it. He's going to be holding the books. You can also comment on the books that you have not read or that I haven't read that you have read. So first I'm going to talk about Daughter of Smoke and Bone Trilogy by Lainey Taylor. I've read the first one and I am halfway through the second one which is Days of Blood and Starlight. But I probably just need to start it over and then I have not read Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Next I have the Starbound Trilogy by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I've read These Broken Stars. I'm halfway in this shattered world, but I have not finished it, and I have not read These Fractured Lights. Now, Kevin actually listened to the audiobook very recently, like maybe a month ago? Yeah. Something like two. that, a month or two ago. What did you think about them? They're good. They're it's good. like It's like a basic version of the... Um, Illuminate Files? Yeah, the other ones that she wrote. Okay. I do want to read these soon. I absolutely adored the first one. Actually, These Broken Stars is the very first book review that I ever did on YouTube. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Next, ooh, this is a book that Kevin actually got for me. And that is The Becoming of Noah Shaw by Michelle Hodkin. This is Husband Buys Books for Me. Remember? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I that was absolutely, a long time ago. yeah, it was. I absolutely adored the Unbecoming of Mara Dyer trilogy, <laughs> and I really need to read the Noah Shaw um, spinoff series. But I just, I haven't gotten to it. I have so many other books that I need to read, but this is definitely on my TBR. By the way, these aren't in order. I just picked them up from my shelf. And then next is Wayfair by Alexandra Bracken. And I am apparently on page 60 of Wayfair. This is the Passenger Duology. I enjoyed the first one a lot. Um, I don't know why I stopped the second one, but I did. What are you doing? I'm getting more books. That's a, that's a long list. It is a long list. She has a very long list. This is going to be a long video. You should. Did you, did you grab a snack? I see you have a Dr. Sh Pepper. I should have grabbed dinner. <laughs> the next book I have is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. And I just recently finished Lady Midnight. So I'm really happy about that. And I need to finish Lord of Shadows, which is the second book in the Dark Artifices trilogy. So I may have miscounted. I think I have 29 because I counted a book that I am currently reading, but it's a reread for me. So I've read it, so that doesn't count. So next I have book three and four of the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. I am missing book five, but I have The Mark of Athena and House of Hades. So it's taken me forever to read this series. I read The Lost Hero maybe like three years ago. And then I recently read Son of Neptune maybe less than a year ago. So I do need to read The Mark of Athena and The House of Hades. But I think I've just grown up a little bit. Like, I feel like these may be a little more juvenile for me, so I'm kind of having trouble getting through them. But I hear The Mark of Athena is the best one in the series, so maybe I'll listen to it on audiobook. But 
yeah, I do need to read these two as well. So the next series, Oops. I know, shame. You can hold them up. They're slippery. The Inheritance Cycle. The Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini. Now, I have actually read half or three-fourths of Aragon like three times. I just can't get through it. I mean like one-fourth. If you got three-fourths, you'd finish. Maybe, maybe halfway. Okay. Maybe I got like halfway through it like three times. And I just can't, I can't push through. But I know it's your favorite series. It's on my list. I need to read it. So this series consists of Aragon book one, Eldest, which is book two, Brisinger, which is book three, and then Inheritance, which is book four. And this one's massive. These are chunky books. This is like gonna take me a minute to read. A minute? <laughs> a little over a minute to read. So yeah, I've been, mm, I don't know which one I'm more intimidated about, this series or the next one you're about to hand me. Next series is the Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon oh Sanderson. God. And that consists of book one, Mistborn, book two, The Well of Ascension, and then book three, Hero of Ages. These also are chunky, and these are mass paperback, and the pages are really thin. So these are also going to take me a hot minute to read. Yeah, wow. it's gonna take me a while to get through these. So I hear these books are amazing. What, yeah. Out of yeah. these two series, which one do you think I should pick up first? Um, I think you're going to enjoy Mistborn more. Really? Mm -hmm. Why is that? I think you'll get into the characters. More? Mm -hmm. hmm. I think you'll like it. If you don't like the first Aragon, it's well, going to take you a little while to get through the rest. It's just because the world building is so slow. There's lots of world building. <laughs> 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 Not to scare you away from it. Okay. So that's another three books. Next I have Eon by Allison Goodman. This is another book that Kevin got me and we were supposed to read this one together. We actually started it. We're on page 35 and... Wait, we kind of forgot. We forgot about it. Yep, I put it up, out of sight, out of mind. Next, I have Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. Kevin actually bought me this book what, three years ago? I don't know, it was a while ago. A long time ago. He bought it for me for Christmas. I wanna say it was like four. Was it for Christmas? Mm -hmm. It was like four years ago, three or four years ago. Oh. It's been it's been a while. Um, you actually read it. Mm -hmm. Would I like this? Unknown. I don't know. It's, yeah. It's not, It's it doesn't fall under your typical it's um, it's definitely books. adult fantasy. This is my Sarah J. Mass shelf, and I have 100% read all of these books. Um, this shelf is good. I've read all of those. Ah, here we go. Next, I have Artemis Fowl by I know I'm gonna say this wrong, Eon Colfer, and. I am actually excited to read this one. I am saving it for a Dewey's 24-hour readathon because I think I can get through it pretty quickly. It is middle grade. I mean, I think I can get through this really quickly. And apparently, it is soon to be a major motion picture from Walt Disney's because they slapped a nice sticker that you can't remove on the uh, main title cover, which is super, super annoying. But yes, I am excited to read Artemis Fowl. Next, I have two mangas, and that is Vampire Night by Matsuri Hino, and it's a volume three and volume four. I've read both volume one and two. These won't take me very long, and once again, I'm waiting for a 24-hour readathon to read these because it's just nice to break up a 24-hour readathon with some graphic novels or mangas. Next, I have a series, and that is the Immortal series by Allison Noel. My brother's amazing girlfriend gave these to me for Christmas. She gave me the first four books in the series, which was so nice of her. I'm gonna reread the first one, but because I've already read it, I'm not counting it. So I have 
Book two, which is Blue Moon. Book three is Shadowland. Book four is Dark Flame. I think I might pick these up for another readathon. The next book is The Merlin Conspiracy by Diana Wynne Jones. And this was actually also given to me as a Christmas present by my brother's girlfriend's sister, who is so lovely and she's amazing. And thank you so much. I, I'm really, really excited to read this one. One of my all-time favorite books is The Once and Future King. So I love anything that's like Arthurian legend. Next I have The Light Between Worlds by Laura E. Weymouth. And this one sounds really interesting. This one was given to me by some of my coworkers. So I'm really, really excited. It's beautiful. Like look at this cover. It's so freaking gorgeous. Deckled edges. Next I have The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Unfortunately, I am not enjoying this one as much as I thought I would. I am currently on page 76, so I'm like, you know, 76 pages in is a good amount, right? You should be able to gauge whether you are enjoying a book or not by page 76. So, uh. It's a little Red Riding Hood retelling. Next I have Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. I'm a little bit more than halfway through it. So honestly, this one I should just sit down. I should just sit down tonight and finish it. I pretty much have 150 pages to read. So I might as well just sit down and read it. 150 pages, that's basically a novella. So yeah, I should just, I'm just gonna finish this one soon. And the last book on my shelf is The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. This will be read very, very soon because this is our January book pick for our Muggle Studies book club that Hannah and I co-host together. So obviously I do need to read it very soon. I know, don't look at the date. <laughs> don't look at the date. It will get read. Our live show is February 9th, so I have time. Um, I have started it and I'm on page 45. So it's January 26th. It is not. It, it's okay. It's okay. I have time. I have time. Don't worry. I will get it done. I, I always do. But yes, I'm really excited to read this one because I flew through the first one. So I have a feeling I'm going to fly through this one. I just need to sit down and read it. All right, guys. Well, that is it for all of the books that I need to read on my bookshelf. I'm really excited that I filmed this video. I think it is kind of like it's January, it's start of a new year, so now I know, you know, it was nice going through my bookshelf and knowing which books I need to finish reading and start. I'm gonna set a goal for myself. I want half of those read by the end of the year, which is 15 books. You're not gonna read them all by the end of the year? That's 30 books! But... On top of all the other books that I want to read! That's it. So, how, okay, you got 30 unread books already on your shelf, but you already know you're going to be getting more books, but not finishing those books. Shush. I don't get it. Shush. <laughs> there are so many highly anticipated books for this year. How many books did you read last year? Um, 68. Boom. You got plenty of space in there for 30 books. Maybe not the Aragon and Mistborn. Those are like massive series. I suggest you try those in audiobook. Yeah, I might have I might do that. Try Aragon at like 1.75 speed. Okay. You might feel better about it. Okay. And I, I obviously I only listened to audiobooks, so mm -hmm. I enjoyed Mistborn in audiobooks. So. You did. Hannah actually said it was really, really good. Yeah. She actually followed um, the audiobook along with Mistborn. Like she she read and listened to it at the same time and she got through it really quickly. Comment down below, let me know some of the books that you think I should get to first. I have a feeling everyone's gonna say Mistborn. I know everyone's gonna say Mistborn. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you being here. So it was fun. I was your Vanna White of books. So that is it, and I will see you next time in another video. Bye!